What's going on you guys? I'm bringing you guys another league video. Brandon Ingram to the rim. So in this league video, we're going to be playing against the Houston Rockets. He has Bradley Beal. And I forgot who the second player was. Oh yeah, Bam Adzebayo. So in this couple of clips, I'm going to show some defense, some offensive clips. Show you a little bit of everything. And one thing if you notice is in the beginning of the... Oh my goodness, I just came back from work, so my thoughts are like all over the place. But in the beginning of the video, you guys saw that both teams had... We're almost about 500 in our record. I was 3-3, three and three, my opponent was 6-7. and seven. Um, It's hard to be undefeated in the league. To be honest, this game is not the same as 21, where... You know, it's very predictable. At the moment, since it's the first season for everybody, we're not too familiar with the game. It's still the first season. Uh, and the defense is a lot better than 21 as well, so it's it's a little bit more unpredictable. You can't... The way the AI is on defense is pretty good. Sorry, I burped a little bit. So, like I wanted to say is when you run plays, the defense adjusts beautifully. So let's say I run a play. You know I love running plays. So when I run a play, like this one right here, a little misdirection. When you run a play, it might work the first time, but then if you try it again in the second or third quarter, the chances of it working perfectly again is very slim because the defense adjusts automatically. But on 21, if you don't fix your settings and you know do it the way you want it, the defense doesn't adjust at all or barely. But on 22, they adjust perfectly. So you could leave it on automatic your settings or you could change it if you want but a lot of times if you have a good defender they know what they're doing and Kyrie Irving to the rim baby let's go so I think I have one or two or maybe three more regular season games actually I think I have three or four if I have to check <laughs> I haven't checked in a minute I think I have a couple of more games of the regular season that we're gonna be going into the playoffs I think we're going to be into round one this weekend. Actually, no, round two. I still have to post that as well. So I have a couple more games of the regular season. Hopefully, I can do a commentary on all of them. And this was a great defensive possession. Because when it comes into playoffs, I have to do... Well, I want to do a commentary. <laughs> Unless you guys love the raw highlights, I'm going to leave it at, you know, raw highlights. But when it comes to the playoffs, I want to do some commentary talk about what's going on in the game what i'm trying to do what my opponent's trying to do but yes right now it's going into the second half shortly there's about a minute left bradley b with the nice fine creates for marcus morris and it's only an eight point game this second court had a lot of action bradley beal's gonna get into the paint bam out of bio with the quick dunk over white side a double screen for lou willie sweet lou to the rim, back to Ingram. Players that have triple threat badge, triple threat juke. The defenders get frozen a lot. Because that badge is very, very good to have on players. For example, I think Brandon Ingram has it. Kyrie Irving has it. I don't know if I have anyone else on my team that has it. But when those two players... Sorry, when those two players do their jab step moves, it's very effective compared to other players because of that badge. So right now it's a 10 point game to start the third quarter. Bradley Bill's gonna get into the paint. And we get the charging call. Great team defense. Brandon Ingram slid over and drew the charge. Again, I'm running a nice play. Kyrie cuts to the rim. It's a lot of misdirection plays. So sometimes I don't even know what I'm gonna do because the players, they position themselves differently every time. Even though the play ha even though the play has the same diagram, depending on how the defenders is playing it, my players will be positioned differently. So right here, I missed the three point shot. DeAndre Jordan with the putback. So a lot of times, I'm taking contested shots with Kyrie and D'Angelo because I keep having the mindset that it's 21, where you could take contested threes. Like this one right here, it was wide open. Well, open, but I still released it way too early. But I don't give up on the play, we get the steal. And I was 0 for 3 in the second half with Kyrie because a lot of the threes I released it way too early. So we're still getting used to the shooting system on 22. 
And for Nisimus with the slowest crossover of all time, but somehow it worked. But he missed the three point shot, so Kyrie's gonna go coast to coast, step back, midi, perfect release. So in this third quarter, we blew it into a 14 point lead. D'Angelo Russell with nice size up moves. Freezing the defender a little bit into a pull up, wide open. So this game's pretty fun. We were we had a big lead in the second quarter. He made a little comeback. But in this third quarter, we're trying to push it back to where it was. So now it's a 15 point lead once again. Gordon Hayward gets an and one to go with a weird looking floater or layup. I don't know what you call that type of shot. Brandon Ingram, way too early, but Hassan Whiteside or Evan Mobley, my bad. Evan Mobley gets a rebound. So I'm trying to find more mids for Evan Mobley and Lou Will because my point guards and centers are clogged up. But we'll try to figure it out as more games go into the playoffs. So I'll try to figure out if I can fit them into this in the rotation, but it's tough because um, my, uh, <laughs> my positions are filled. But unfortunately, that was the end of the third quarter. The fourth quarter is not going to be too long because my opponent had to end up leaving. He had to go out. He had to go somewhere. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I'll have more gameplay coming soon. Probably on Saturday or Sunday. Sorry, I've been super busy. I work seven days a week, but I still try to draw the videos for y'all. So drop a like or a comment if you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think so far. I really appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.